Yo, this is Noah Cuz. I'm back again on the Split My Channel for another video. I'm sorry if I sound sick. I'm sick. I know what you're probably thinking. Noah, where you been? It's been like a month since your last video. Now listen, I went to LA at the beginning of June. I went to Split My House. We made a bunch of beats. I did some sessions, got a few records, you know. Had a great time out there. And literally my last day there, my laptop just fried. Like, it was just done. Like, <laughs> I don't know if it was the heat. I don't know if I overworked it or what, but my laptop just stopped working. I just got my brand new laptop in today. I just finished installing everything on it. So I wanted to do a tutorial. So I was gonna do an R&B tutorial today, but on my last video, like everybody was talking about the intro beat in the comments. So I figured I'd break that down in today's video. I used a loop from my boy Ferno, shout out to him. So today I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to make crazy guitar beats for someone like Keed. This be something like what Wheezy would make. It's got that triplet bounce. The drums go crazy. You'll hear it in a sec. But yeah, when I was in LA, Split Mind did a session with Young Maul and I got a record with him. If you guys want to see that, make sure you go check out my Instagram. I got a snippet on there. But anyway, I'm just going to get into this breakdown. This is what the beat sounds like. But yeah, you can hear that the bounce is crazy on it, so I'm gonna show you how to make it. All of these drum sounds are in my new drum kit, Noah Cuz Essentials Volume 1. It's gonna be the first link in the description. Make sure you guys go cop it. If you guys do end up copying it, first of all, I appreciate you. Second of all, I wanna show my appreciation and I'm gonna send a bunch of bonus loops to everybody who cops it. Just send me a screenshot of the receipt on Instagram or to my email or whatever, and I'm gonna load you up with some bonus loops. But anyway, yeah, let's just get started on this beat. So I'm just gonna play the loop one more time for my boy Ferno. The only thing I have on it is an EQ, just cutting out some of the lows. So this first sound is just a clap. So next I added these triplet snare rolls. So honestly, I just put it into one third step and went crazy with the rolls. I'm gonna play it with the claps, so that way you can get context. Next, I went for this hi-hat. So I also did triplets for the hi-hat, but you can see I deleted notes where I thought there needed to be space. And then I just did these rolls throughout it. This pattern is just this first four bars duplicated over. I messed with the pitch on a lot of these. And then at the end, I kind of made it go down and then bring it back up. And you can see I also changed the velocities on some of these notes just to give it even more bounce. I'm just gonna play with the hi-hat sound like that. Next, I just added this perk on the one. And then in the second half of the hook, I added in this open hat. Super simple, just giving it a little bit more bounce. You can see I have it hitting on the one in the three and then one just before the three. For the verse, I switched up the clap into this rim. super fire. So the last drum sound that I added was this super simple 808. Once again, it's basically these same four bars and I just added in that note. So that's it for all of the drum sounds. Like I said, this beat is really simple. For mixing, um, I only have an EQ on the melody, like I said earlier. I have nothing on the 808, I just have it panned up the center. Nothing on the clap, nothing on the rim, nothing on the snare. On the hi-hat, I have Looperator. It's really big on my display for some reason, but I just have this reverb hitting right here and then a reverse at the end. 
I have that going into this fruity flanger and I have the mix on like 7% super low. And then I have this pan man just going back and forth and I brought the mix down on that some too. I have nothing on the open hat and then nothing on the perk. You can see I have a lot of my drums being sent to this reverb track. It just has a really simple Valhalla vintage verb on it. I didn't change any of the settings. And you can see I just brought the level down a little bit and then I made it a little bit more stereo. I also panned this perk to the opposite of the open hat. Then on the master, I just have my master preset. I boost 3.2 on the highs, 1.6 on the mids, and 3.2 on the lows with the fruity parametric EQ. And then just a default soft clipper after. You can ignore this last plugin, that's just that way I can record. So basically for the structuring, I have it going intro, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and then outro. It's really not complicated. For the chorus, I took out the open hat in the first half and brought it in for the second half. And then in the verse, like I said earlier, I replaced the clap with this rim. And then you can also see I chopped up this open hat a little bit in the second half. And then I took out the perk. And I also took out the snares in the second half of the verse. And then, yeah, the last thing I did was I added the tags. To get my 808 to hit hard, I kind of have it changed for each beat, but this one I had it hit at plus three dB. And then I leveled all of the other drums around that, just what sounded good to my ear personally. But yeah, this beat is super simple, but sometimes that's all you need. This beat sounds crazy already how it is. I wouldn't want to add anything else to it. Like I said, all these sounds are in my new drum kit, Noah Cuz Essentials Volume 1. It's out now on Drumify. It's going to be the first link in the description. Make sure you go cop, send me proof of purchase, and I'm going to send you some bonus samples. Subscribe to the channel. Go follow me on Instagram at Noah Cuz. Go check out that Young Mall snippet. Leave in the comments what you want to see next. I think the next video is going to be an R&B video. I'm not too sure yet though. But uh, yeah, I'm going to let this beat play out at the end. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Peace.